Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be the last jump starter video for a while because people were supposed to send me some more and it seems like they chickened out at the last moment. Perhaps their product isn't up to spec and they didn't want to get busted line. However, this is a video request that people have requested is what's inside this batteryless jump starter. We know it's got capacitors, and but what kind of capacitors are they and can we source them out on eBay and look at building our own jump pack? So let's have a look. And in the meantime, I'm gonna go over some of the most commonly asked questions on this unit and hopefully answer them for you in the video while we're taking it apart. Texas Viking writes, maybe add a solar panel to charge the capacitors. In a pinch, you would be able to do that for sure. Plasmar 1 writes, can probably DIY one for cheap. That's what we're about to find out. The important test would be the leakage current. How many days the capacitor would stay charged? Or are you expected to charge it just before the use? I said in the videos that this will discharge after 24 hours, but this has been about two weeks. And you can see there is 12 volts of power there. So I don't know what to tell you guys. Hydrotronics rates, you wouldn't want to get stuck miles from anyone with this as your only option. One hit wonder, and if it doesn't work, you're walking. Well, as long as no one can hear you scream, no one will know what happened to you. Jerry, would you try to charge the capacitor with a battery that would no longer crank over the engine, but would possibly be able to slowly charge the capacitor? I am just curious whether this would work in real life, thus start the engine. As long as the battery still has life, it will charge the capacitors and you will be able to start your vehicle. Wow, those are some big capacitors right there. But before we start poking around, we need to discharge it fully. And the only way to do that, see if I can get in bypass mode and then drain all the power out of it. There we go. Yeah, I thought for sure, like I said before, it would discharge, but it's still holding. Like it says 14 volts right there, when it said 12 volts standby, so we're just going to let that burn off. Well, that ruins that idea. I removed the screws that were in there. And I was hoping to lift it off because I can't find any numbers on those capacitors. But they must have it fastened down. Like this board must have been put on and probably hard soldered right there to keep it from coming apart. And this thing was pretty expensive, so I'm not going to be modifying it because this is my favorite jump starter by far. Well, there's lots of tech junkies that are going to chime in and tell you what kind of caps they are, so I'll leave it up to them. To discuss what they think they are because I don't know so if you have any questions or comments post them below and I want to thank you guys for watching my curiosity is cured now